Hi there, this is Rahat. In this video, I'll demonstrate how optical flow analysis helps detect traces of copy-paste forgeries, specifically object removal forgeries. Now, let me first show you the videos on which we will conduct this experiment. So this is the first pair of videos. I'll play them simultaneously. The one on the right is the tampered video and the one on the left is the original one. And as you can see in the tampered video, the television screen remains permanently dark. All right, now let's see what the optical flow patterns for these videos look like. Um, now these patterns take a little bit of time to generate, so I've already computed them and saved the files. So let me first show you what the optical flow pattern for the tampered video looks like. Right, so this is it. And as you can see, there's this region in the center which corresponds to the television screen and it's completely dark. Now this complete lack of optical flow activity is a clear indicator of a forgery, a post-production manipulation. Right. And this is not because the screen was dark, because you see the screen was dark in the original videos too sometimes when the when the channels were being changed. Like um, right here, see? So whenever the channel is being changed, the screen goes dark. And this kind of lack of optical flow activity does not occur in case of the original video. Let me show you. Right. Uh, okay. So these are the optical flow patterns for the original video, and as you can see, even when the screen turns off, uh, when the channels are being changed, the screen goes dark, but they, there's no uh, complete lack of optical flow activity, even in those cases. Right, so, so let me show you again, specifically the part where the television screen goes dark, but the optical flow activity, you know, still continues to remain. Like, like this part. So now this this optical flow pattern corresponds to the part in the original video where the channels were being changed and the screen goes temporarily dark, but there's no complete lack of optical flow activity like the one we witnessed in case of the tampered video. And that was the clear sign of forgery. Now let's consider another video. Um, these ones. So the one on the left is the original video, the one on the right is the tampered video. And let me play these. Now, as you can see, this woman here, she's been removed from the scene in the tampered video. And everything else remains the same. Now let's see what the optical flow patterns for these, this video looks like. And let's just take a look at the tampered video because that's gonna give us all the clues we need. And this is it. So you see, this region, this region of the road is exhibiting optical flow inconsistencies. Right? So this is the evidence of manipulation. Now, lack of optical flow activity is perfectly normal for regions of uniform illumination where pixels don't change from one frame to the next, like in this region which corresponds to the sky. But this particular patch in the middle of the road 
when the rest of the rover is completely normal is indicative of manipulation. And that is how optical flow analysis helps us deduct traces of uh, object removal forgeries. Um, this is it for this video. In the next one, we'll see how prediction residual analysis can be used to detect traces of post-production manipulation.